Hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the spiritual advice reading for the collective for the day of March 8th of 2023. So for this reading I've been guided to the Gilded Tarot deck by Chiro Marchetti and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information or these messages most with clearly defined messages of guidance for March 8th of 2023. All right, so we have some kind of waking up early March 8th with the Two of Swords energy, uh, thoughts, difficult thoughts about making a decision. Something here may feel like a difficult decision. Swords sometimes representing a business or organization. To me, there could be some that are like, is this where I want to be financially with this organization or elsewhere? In the thoughts position, we have the beautiful major arcana, the strength card. So look at spirit and the universe are coming to the rescue to bring you the strength you need to make a decision. What is the best path for me at this time? In the relationship sector, we do have the Six of Cups energy. Oh my. So we may have someone here who is thinking about a connection tied to the past. We've got air energy here. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Maybe someone who has Leo in their chart. But when it comes to the creative aspects position, Spirit saying it is time to let go of some form of long and difficult path to let go of worries, fears, and concerns because the universe is sending in this beautiful angel in the form of a deer helping you to stand up and recognize what it is that has made you stronger. In the actions position, again, we have indecision, one path, one direction, business, passionate connection, or another. Something feels like a difficult decision, but Spirit's saying recognize that it's time to create a new path because an old path has reached the number 10. Right now with the number 10, 1 plus 0, it's time to manifest a new beginning in your life. In the emotional aspects position, Spirit's offering up this Queen of Wands energies, a lot of passion, uh, goal setting, uh, like this is someone who sets and meets goals and then accomplishes those and gets excited to manifest even more. And that's the energy spirits giving to the collective. Again, someone may be connecting with someone emotionally who has this fire energy, Sag Aries or Leo, like we saw in the thoughts position. In the subconscious position, we have the five of swords. So there's some form of inner conflict here regarding communication with another or others. Maybe a situation that involves a child, children, or the past. In the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have Mrs. Queen of Pentacles showing up. So male or female, this is someone who is uh, creating abundance on a day-to-day -day basis where they feel uh, very content, uh, very open-hearted and caring. So that's what Spirit's trying to do is guide the collective into some form of more abundant circumstance. Someone here may be conflicted about one person, situation, direction, or the other. We have two queens here, Queen of Pentacles in the day-to-day -day aspects position and the passionate Queen of Wands in the emotional aspects position. So in the inner strengths position, we have the Knight of Cups. So there is some playful energy. There's quick action. There's maybe coming and going here, right? That's keeping someone indecisive about one a passionate business or personal uh, direction or the other. Which person am I most passionate about? Which direction am I most passionate about? Because I know it's time to create greater abundance for myself, male or female, so that I can uh, find the strength to be playful day to day once again, right? And let go of uh, communications that someone here is indecisive about. 
So in a three card summary using the same Gilded Tarot deck, we have the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So here's that indecision with the moon energy, but we've got two major arcanas. So in the beginning of the day, Spirit's saying, if you are clouded, if you are unsure about this next chapter of your life, now is the time to use the Hierophant energy to uh, research, learn, and create this next chapter of your life. Yeah, someone here wants to go quickly into the direction of someone and say something, but that path has ended, and it's time to let that go. Because right around the corner we have, I was waiting on this air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but now I am feeling emotionally fulfilled as I create new beginnings for myself. Yeah, someone's conflicted about an older air energy, maybe just older than you, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and there is this, or this is you, this uh, inner conflict about what action steps to take. Should I stay in this traditional path I've been on or should I walk away basically yeah there's celebration of success if you will wait and decipher and pray to spirit about what you are wishing for for it is time for legal paperwork stepping into and signing on the dotted line when it comes to a new exciting direction or in the area of passion or business yes it could be that in a new direction, right, with this two of wands type energy, uh, there is indeed a more playful connection or just more playful day-to-day -day energy. So we do have a shocking, unexpected, outside of one's self tower energy and the ace of cups. So a new path of, uh, of emotional fulfillment manifesting and ending, bringing something to a successful completion uh, over the next over maybe the day of March 8th. Yes, following your intuition, trying to decipher what is the journey that makes me feel good that I could celebrate with those around me. Again, this could be business with the swords, but regardless with the six of swords, this is I am leaving what causes me to sit, sit in this state of confusion behind, right? I'm taking action. I'm not just going to sit here. I'm laying something down that weighs heavy upon me. For I am recognizing that my efforts, uh, maybe throughout the day, are bringing my ship in rather quickly and unexpectedly. Which makes me then go into the Two of Wands energies of which path is the right one for me. So there could just definitely be a financial offer coming from someone who's in a leadership position. Uh, there could be that this uh, feels right. And look at it. The masculine, we got the king and queen of fire here in the area of business for many. Uh, he is thinking about uh, offering a very abundant opportunity here. <clears throat> yeah, researching how do I now go away from one path? Is this the one that's meant for me? For its time. I just saw the seven spirits helping to open a new doorway because someone here indeed has outgrown uh, a circumstance situation. I almost feel like you're hitting a glass ceiling and that's what you're thinking about. And if that's the case, this is spirits way of saying come out of indecision and take action to decide uh, which path not only brings back that energy of playfulness day to day, but great financial stability. I'm going to confirm and close with the, which one is this? Messages from your spirit guides by Stephen Farmer. Closing messages or additional messages, please, for March 8th of 2023. Yeah, someone, oops, these got turned around. Interesting, they're very tied to each other. Uh, like the card says, you're too enmeshed in a situation and need to step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions. Wow. So if you're overthinking about something in the morning, let it go. Take some action here to move on from that. Think about your strengths, your uh, what you're passionate about day to day. For then we have the tiger energy as confirmation in the thoughts position. You're being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you are capable of doing so. Maybe some of you have already received an offer and you're just a little bit uh, worried about whether or not something is the right decision or someone. 
Now in the relationship sector, we've got the penguin energy. Spirit saying, uh, as you sit in this moment of contemplation, indecision, trying to decipher uh, the right action steps to take, uh, a period of darkness will fade away. Maybe throughout this day, it's like there's this realization that as I reach out and create greater abundance for myself, I realize that the path I've been on is now coming to a close. So in the actions position for further confirmation, we have the grouse energy. Express yourself through rhythm and movement and drumming and dancing. This would be a great time to kind of when you're getting in your head, maybe take some time out to meditate, exercise, uh, do some yoga. Okay, calm yourself so the energies can flow. For in the actions position, we have the cat energy. It is time to strike out on your own. Oh my. In the actions position and relinquish your over-dependency on another or others. For in the emotional aspects position, we have the pueyo. It's a Hawaiian owl. Your ancestral spirits are offering you guidance right now, so pay close attention to the signs and the omens throughout the day. An unexpected offer could come your way. Subconsciously, we got the Roadrunner energy. Roadrunner energy. Look at that. That card says keep a sense of humor. Right? Don't take things so seriously. Free your mind from worries, fears, and concerns. Like you're feeling like you're ready to be, go into battle or something to that effect. Day to day, we have the mountain goat energy. So there's something out of balance, right? Spirit saying, if so, do whatever you need to to correct it at this time. Ask for a raise. Seek out that position you've always wanted to fulfill in your life. For in the inner strengths position, we have the manatee. Accept the situation rather than fighting it and move forward playfully as you decipher a path before you. Because with the cat energy again in the actions position spirit saying it's time to strike out on your own. If you've been thinking about starting a small business on the side, you know, do that in the evenings and weekends. In a three-card summary to close, we've got the rattlesnake, the boar, and the gorilla. So again, Spirit's saying the experiences that you're presently going through uh, may is, is uh, a sign, I think, <clears throat> that one path has ended and uh, another is meant to start at this time. We do have a purpose as a healer with that type energy. If you've been thinking about helping others to heal, caring, giving, providing, supporting, guidance, uh, those areas are really going to grow and develop for the long term. Look close to what's transpiring around you on the 8th of March. Spirit same for some. Uh, remember, now's the time to face your problems head on with confidence and courage so that you can emerge victorious. So you can come into this balance of I am and I have enough. By the end of the day, we have the gorilla. Take time to listen compassionately to those you love. Your ancestral offers, your ancestral spirit guides, pardon me, are offering you guidance now. So pay attention to the signs. That's why meditation is important. Pray for what you are asking for and trust. Uh, maybe in the morning and trust that later on in the afternoon uh, there could very well come this uh, exciting, more playful direction that opens up for you in some way. Feeling fire energy, Sagittarius or Leo and air energy, Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. But Spirit's saying let yourself stand out and be noticed, right? Let people know that you exist so the world can uh, see you. All right. I think I'm going to close with that. So should these messages have resonated in some way for you and you have further questions and or you would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour videos and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly video. And my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. That is a one month reading as well. So thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Uh, thank you to those of you who have uh, come to me for month to month readings, to those of you who've been gifting these readings to others, uh, and for all of your donations. Take care.
and God bless.